Okay, first thing I did was cut four pieces of one by two. And I'm running along. Yeah, this thing all the way flush there, but I'm gonna get it. Uh, this just mock up. Cut two long ones and then two short ones inside. I'm a little worried. I gotta check it, but it looks like I'm just gonna have barely enough room for my nuts to sit in there. My nuts, my nuts. They're a little gonna be a little tight in there. But it's on the outside of the washer, so I think it will work. Now I'm going to weld that up, and that's the first part. Get out, little focus. That's the first part of the lawnmower stand, lawnmower engine stand. Because that's the engine plate right there. And I went ahead and I drilled two bolt holes right there. That's for the, for the stand. That's where it's going to mount up on the top part. And then I'll show you the rest as I go along. Okay, I got it sitting up on here, halfway bolted down. Now my next decision is whether I want to use this, which I beveled that out so that would fit into that, or if I cut me another one by two stock. Because I'm going to take, and I'm going to 45 from this corner down to here, this corner down to there, and that would stabilize it. That would probably stabilize it there enough, but I want to put it down like that to make it even better I'll put it down like that just double stabilization and all you got to do is take the bolts out lift it off <coughs> take it and put it away and now I'm gonna have another plate like this this is the wrong one because the bolt holes are in the wrong spot and I'm gonna get another piece of metal like this and I'm gonna make another plate that's gonna bolt up on top of this so that way I could take the one off for the lawnmower and put one on for a side shaft and then that way I have one brace with two plates let me get to doing some figuring okay here sits the engine stand all by itself uh, I just welded on my supports it's not all level uh, but it will work bolt this plate down and then I'll make another plate let me bolt this down, then I'll set a motor up here. And, well, hang on just a second. Did you say you had a motor? Want to stand to work on? It ain't bolted down yet, but there we go. That's what it's going to look like. Work good. I like it. Well, I got the motor all strapped down. Uh, I still got to fill in some spots here, but I made this so that way I can have a spot to work on my mower. No, so I want to mower, move it like that, you know, work on parts. I got it right here. I'm going to do what I need. Somebody said, well, you know, you can't. can't start it from here. Yeah, you can. Uh, it ain't too wobbly. I could even start this thing. Right now, this ain't got no piston in it. Yeah, the piston broke. But I could put a motor up here, and I could work it. Now, you may say, well, David, I don't have a motor stand, you know? I don't have nothing like that. And my dad won't let me use one. <clears throat> well, if that's the fact, well, you know, this is just a, yes, you know, it's leaking out watery oil, but this is just a demonstration because I do have this stand and I was just going to throw it away or sell it. I wasn't going to throw nothing away. I was going to sell it. Well, I'm to the point where I need something to work on a motor. This motor right here blew a rod. Uh, the pistons off of it. Well, I got a good case here, no crack, good carburetor, good head, good selling, everything's good on it. The starter I got on another motor. And so I threw this together and what I did was I took some one by twos, one by one, 
and one and a half by one and a half, and I just made a frame up here, bolted it down, still got my bolt holes here, and put the one inch going down there to just stabilize it. And that, my friend, is a lawnmower engine stand. I can make me a custom muffler, figure out where my custom muffler's gonna be, set it mower up on here, bolt the, everything together, and just start cutting, whacking. See, I'll have parts right there for another one. But this, my friend, is a redneck lawnmower engine stand. Hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, got some more things to come. Got a couple surprises on the way. One big one. And uh, I will make another plate to fit my side my mount engines where I take these four bolts off. Take the plate off, put another plate on there. And that way I'll be able to work on a side shaft. There you go. Uh, I got a little bit of grinding to do. A little bit of pain. And then she's done. Thanks for watching.